morning, guys. How are we all going? Right, oh, up, uh, up early, been out, picked up the trailer. Well, it's at 9 o'clock, gotta go meet a bloke um, about this surprise I've been telling you all about. So, uh, uh, I've just loaded the trailer up and uh, heading on into uh, town and uh, see what we can find, eh? So, I'm a bit excited about this, I've been uh, wanting to do this for quite a while. So, um, we'll go in there and, uh, and I'll show you what we're going to get. Alright? See you in a little bit. Well, I'm back again. We're rocking up the road here. Uh, I'm not far from this gentleman's fire place. It's um, there's a few cars driving around. Um, not many. It's pretty quiet this morning. Um, usually the towns are buzz, but we know that this bloody COVID 19s causing grief everywhere. So um, I friggin' read last night that we can't even go for a ride. Not allowed to ride our motorbikes. Fuck me dead. I've never thought it. Oh. Look, I probably understand why. If you come off and hurt yourself, then you're taking up valuable space in the hospital. I understand that. But shit. If, if, if you wanted social distancing, <laughs> riding your motorcross bike around out the bush <laughs> with a helmet on and, uh, you know, we're always going to be 1.5 metres from each other and no danger to anybody but ourselves but anyway that's what they've done they're the rules suppose we've got to abide by them anyway i'm just uh, dropping off some produce in town because i'm uh, an essential worker um i'm dropping this young fella and getting got some uh, vegetables for his wife um so i've got a uh, in the back there and um uh, in trade for a uh, motor car there you go, there's my reasoning for being out and about to this morning. So here we go, we're just coming down here. Um, where is it? It's up here somewhere. I should know, I come here all the time. It's uh, just up here. Hopefully he's got everything out of the way so we can back the trailer in. And all this part, and we're we'll going on. All right, gotta go, there's a the wife. See you guys. Sorry about that, guys. Just had the boss ring me. All right. Okay, so we're here. Just want the trav to rock up. Just moving some cars. So here he is. You a bit excited, Michael? Always excited, mate. He's, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not excited about this fucking early start. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this since we went to the swap, mate. <laughs> and Travis is running late. Jeez, he's hopeless, isn't he? I've no brekkie yet, mate. Oh, well, we can do Maybe that. You might get a quick feed. We can do that. Alright, so uh, we'll go in here and we'll check this bomb out. Okay, we've rocked up around here at uh, Mix Joint. Oh, have a look at the crap we have to move to get this old to be out. And bloody real. So, how, sitting here for how long, Mick? 20 years. Over 20 years. Over 20 years. He's been waiting for Trav and I for 20 years to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're just uh, sticking some air in the tyres. They're going up, Mick. I don't like the look of this one. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it's got go. some air going in it. So here's the beast. Here's the beast. She's going to be fun. A lot of fun. We've just been discussing what we want to do with the chassis in it. Yeah, the world. We're thinking about... Uh, Doing a, it's going to be a body off rest though. We might even change the chassis out and maybe look at some sort of different chassis we can put in it. We don't know yet. We'll get it off, the body off it and go from there. But there's the old girl. The good thing about it, there's no rust in it. And it's straight. Less work for me. Yeah. Your, your bit's an easy bit, Travis. My bit's probably the worst bit. Old Oldsmobile rocket. It's an 88, isn't it, Mick? Yeah. She's, she's got 30 inches of dirt on it, not uh, 30 okay. years of dirt on it. Yeah, that's a, it's a bit of an adventure. 
Hey, it beats doing friggin' Commodores and fucking HQs up all the time, doesn't it, Trav? Hey? She's gonna be fun anyway. Alright, so. There's uh, our old. Alright, here's our barn find. Yep, we had to get it out of the back of that back shed around there. Yeah, I'd come up to come up to about here, Trev. I'll watch that. So you got plenty of room there. Straighten up, Trev. All right, we're going to get it out here straight and try to get it on the trailer. All right, eh? Hey. There she is. Loaded up. One. 54 Oldsmobile. We we'll get her out. We're going to get her out onto the hoist today. We're going to try and get the, the body off the chassis and uh, s uh, get all the stuff out of it later into the shed and see if we can get that body off and have a look at what we're working with. All right, ready to go. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right. Still primed the fuel. This is the first start up of the Alza Bill. We'll see what happens. She's all primed. Let's go. Can you fucking believe that started? How long have you had this car, Mick? Oh, about over 20. And how long's it been sitting? Well, oh, it started before that. So well, you never bought it running? I bought it off and started. Have, have a look at that. That's not word of a lie. I, all I've done is turn the, the camera off to switch it from uh, front view to rear view, and that's sitting there idling like it's. That is sweet, Mick. But it's still getting an LS. <laughs> I can't believe that. Can you fucking believe that? 20 years. You think all the oh. shit in the car be all fucked up? <laughs> you reckon? Go again. It might have a bit of a... <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we killed it. Got exhaust leak. No rabbit. It has. <laughs> hey, and it's got shit on oil pressure. I'm amazed. I am absolutely amazed. What a rocket! I love it. Absolutely love it. Is it smoking? It's got a full tank of gas in it, me. <laughs> I hope it hasn't. It's not pumping fuel out. Hey, is it charging? I don't know. What's the other side? Temp gauge? Temp gauge and oh, amps. Look at that. Not even any smoke, me. For 20 years it's been shit. It's not even blowing any smoke. Yeah, the bloke I bought off said he Give it a rev, Trev. The bloke I bought off said he reggoed it. Ah, you <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's looking. I think all we gotta do is just fucking grab it. <laughs> Have a look. One spring, one springs up, one springs down. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of smoke coming there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's bugger all. That's probably valve stems because it's just on the, on the override. Um, well, that is magnificent. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fucking blown away. What's yeah, this? Well, we've got Lee Oh, look at that Welsh plug's leaking. <laughs> oh, I have to put an LS in it, Mick. She's no good. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to put an LS in it. She's uh, leaking water. <laughs> what a pisser. All right, we're going to pull her apart now.
the run down. Wires are undone. What? Go slowly. So hang on, that's going to come, all that wiring's going to come with the body. Yep. We're near there, I reckon. Just stick your head under the back and make sure there's nothing look like it's pulling up me. That's all disconnected. How long's this take? We've been doing this for a couple of hours. It's quicker to get the thing going than it has been to do this. Hey? It all looks alright? You alright, Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm made to it. Alright, we're going to creep it up a bit, Nick. Let's see if it'll count. You alright? Fuel tank uh, filler pipes hitting the chassis, so we've got to pull the fuel tank out. Can you straighten the wheel so it goes as it goes 
You can go another 50 million. What's in that? What's you hit my last more side though. You hit the tide. Mm. Can we slide the cut across? Yeah. Go, get ready, ready, ready. Take go. Now we've got any room for it to go up? Yep. Oh. Oh. No. Nah. How much have you got there? Yeah, what's it doing that steering rod? What about we put a jack under the vehicle and take the wheels off? The jack's up the front, Mick. Go and grab that, we'll grab the wheels off, and then it will go forward further. One. Next, pull the thing out, grab that jack. Yeah, that's what we're going to slide it on the jack, are we? Yeah. yeah. Alright. I've got to be bigger than the fucking thing if you want. No, I'm going to arrange one to do This is. You want to let it down a bit or what? Is it getting you clear? Can you go down, Pat? Push it forward a bit. What's this, Mike? Get the body, go again, keep it going forward. Bit of the morning's work. That'll do for a minute. Yeah, we'll put the wheels back on. on. Yeah. Keep holds the wheel, chassis, and motor guns. Come and pick it up. Pick up only. You're in a bucket. We might be we might be using this yet. Don't you worry about that.
restore it. We're just going to find another body. I'm well, putting the fucking hell in this one. Uh, put that here. Where's the other red one? You see that over the smith? Big red arrow on the chassis. Uh, Back in it out of the WK fucking station. Right. So, why not? Yeah, let's, let's jump about there. Okay, so HX chassis under Oldsmobile ain't gonna go. Can't do it. We're a bit like a disappointed, aren't we? Ain't gonna go, but we're gonna do something. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try and put a, a sedan front end into that chassis. But, um, we're not? No, we're gonna, we're gonna do something. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Back and see what you think. What? It's all right. Just got a little bit of work on here. What did I fucking say? Never happy, this bloke. It's a little bit wonky. Not happy. Never happy. Chris is good. Ah, good. Just long here to see the wonky bits. Yeah, well, that's why I left that little bit for you. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you had a bit to do. Uh, guys, I've got a little bit of information for you, and I don't know whether I should take this to heart or not. Um, I, uh, as is probably a lot of you watched last night, or I see already there's over 200 and something views of the uh, of the uh, video of the uh, Hate's Head build episode four last night. I um, look, I'm, I'm all over Facebook, and I'm uh, I'm in a lot of groups, and one of the groups I'm in is uh, the Alan Moffat group. I uh, posted up the uh, VK uh, Group A Bathurst block replica, um, Peter Brock and Alan Moffat race car on that site. Um, but I, I stuck it up there last night. I stuck the episode of uh, episode four up on there, and I had this guy jump on there and absolutely rip me, saying that piece of shit fucking looks like a piece of shit American car. And um, and I just said, whatever, mate. I, I can't remember actually what I said. It wasn't nasty. I said, good one, mate. And then he wrote back, what's this got to do with Alan Moffat? You FFS, which I assume is you fuckface. I just went, my God, unbelievable. Hey, I might be wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have posted a holding on Alan Moffat's site, but my reason of posting it is so everybody can see what we're doing. But look, give me your feedback. I, by the way, I took it down straight away. I thought, all right, I don't want to upset anybody. And I wasn't nasty to the guy at all. I was, uh, I just said, oh, you don't even know me and you're calling me an FFS. So, okay. So I took it down. So look, if, uh, um, give me a comment. Give me a comment. If you think I did the right thing or the wrong thing, maybe I shouldn't be posting holding on Alan Muffet's site. I don't know. Alan Moffat's a and car enthusiast, I thought, and that's what I'm doing. But anyway, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys.